Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So cutting right to the point because today's video is definitely going to be a pretty long one. As you can see by the title below, this is going to be a full-on unbiased review of the brand new Fenty by Rihanna makeup collection. So Fenty Beauty actually had their launch party last night in New York City. It launched at Sephora at midnight and Rihanna had a big event in Manhattan with a beautiful yellow gown, which is why I'm wearing this yellow hoodie today, which you'll be finding out a lot more about in Monday's video, so stay tuned. But um, guess who was not invited to that launch party? This sister right here. So this morning, I hauled my ass out of bed at 6 a.m. to go to Sephora because they invited a bunch of influencers in for early access, and I picked up the entire line. I paid for every single one of these products myself. This video is not sponsored, and I'm not being paid to talk about it either. I just wanted to do this video because so many of you guys are wondering whether or not these products are going to be good. I myself am genuinely wondering if these products are going to be good. The Fenty Beauty campaigns have looked so, so beautiful. So many beautiful models, so much diversity as well, and the products genuinely do look really, really good. But I don't want to be biased. I'm going in with absolutely no knowledge of anything. So without further ado, grab your pinkity drinkities. And let's go ahead and get started with testing Fenty Beauty products. All right guys, so you know that I haven't been really using primers much lately. I've just been loving using a moisturized skin right under my foundation. I feel like it just makes my skin look so, so beautiful and flawless, but Fenty Beauty did drop a soft matte primer. So I already went ahead and I moisturized and we're gonna be putting this on top before the foundation today. So all the different products come in this design of a unicorn. It is this like off-white black spotted ombre pattern. Honestly, the packaging looks absolutely stunning. And let's go ahead and take it out. Oh wow, this looks really good. So on FentyBeauty.com, this primer retails for $32 and it comes with 1.08 fluid ounces, which is actually more than the typical foundation. Most foundations are usually one fluid ounce, so there's definitely a lot of product in here. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to squirt some on my hands as usual and then just apply that to my face. Okay, so I definitely just applied way too much of that to my face and I'm just gonna blend it in really, really well. There isn't too much of like a strong smell, but it does smell slightly like lotion, but like a really, really good lotion. So it's definitely a nice, clean scent that isn't overpowering at all. And it does make my skin feel very, very smooth and also a little bit tacky. So this should make my makeup stick, hopefully, pretty well. I am so annoyed right now. Like I said, I went to Sephora this morning to get the foundation to show you guys the full range. So I got shade number 100, being the lightest shade, and number 490, being the darkest shade. But my dumbass, instead of getting my shade, which I determined was number 260, I bought two number 100s. Are we surprised? No. But are we annoyed? Yes, because now I have to go all the way back there. So, so you guys are not gonna see any time pass because there's gonna be a jump cut, but my ass will be back in about Two hours. Two hours later. All right, so two very, very long Uber rides later, we are back home and I have the right foundation shade this time, number 260. <sighs> That's like classic James, sorry, but Flashback Mary was clearly really trying to make an appearance up in here, but not today. <laughs> The next step is obviously going to be foundation, and for today I brought you guys three shades, and I got number 260 for myself. I did do some swatches in Sephora, but Lord knows the lighting in there is not the best, so fingers crossed that this one works. But I also picked up number 100, which is the lightest shade, and number 490, which is the darkest shade, so I can show you guys the full range. I also went ahead and I picked up the Precision Makeup Sponge, which I guess is supposed to be like a beauty blender type situation. It comes in this little box and then is in this package. So it is basically like a beauty blender, but it has flat edges. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, it actually smells like a bouquet of flowers, weird enough, but like, it smells good. I'm gonna go ahead and wet this before I apply my foundation. So before actually applying the foundation, I do definitely wanna talk about the shade range because it has been a very, very controversial topic. So I do wanna swatch for you guys the three different colors that I got today. So this is shade number 100, which is the lightest shade on the top. This one is number 260, which fingers crossed should be my shade, hopefully. <laughs> And this last shade on the bottom is number 490, which is the darkest shade in the range. I wanna make it very, very clear that I'm obviously not a person of color and I'm nowhere near it as well. I simply wanted to swatch the darker shade just to give you guys a good comparison from the darkest to the lightest and show the variation between them. But I am well aware that this swatch on my skin tone is not gonna be helpful at all to my dark beauties out there. So while I was in Sephora today, I did happen to run in one of my amazing sisters. Shout out to you, Sister Jerlene. She definitely saw me struggling with what to do with this foundation. So she actually went ahead and let me swatch it on her hand. So hopefully this next clip will give you guys a better idea if you do have darker skin on what this foundation 
foundation will actually look like. All right guys, so I'm here at Fenty Beauty in Sephora to pick up all the items early this morning, and I'm here with Sister Jerlene. I wanna show you guys the darkest shade in the range because there are so many, but obviously I'm pasty, so I'm not about to swatch the darkest shade on me because that doesn't help anybody. So, Sister Tati is gonna hold my camera for yes, me, I'm and we're gonna do a little swatchity watchity. All right guys, so this is shade number 490, which is the darkest in the range, and to be clear, Rihanna said she did wanna add more shades as well. There was definitely controversy on Twitter when it comes to makeup, but literally when it's or not. So we're gonna be swatching this on Sister Jerlene right here. The formula is definitely pretty liquidy and as you can tell this is a little bit darker than her skin tone and this is definitely a warm tone shade too. Alright so now that that's taken care of let's go ahead and actually apply the foundation. Like I said I am number 260 and this foundation comes with 1.08 fluid ounces so same exact thing as the primer but this one is $34 rather than the primer's $32. I'm just gonna dip in with my Fenty Beauty sponge and go right in on the skin. All right, so first impressions is that this color is a pretty good match to my skin, so thank God the Sephora lighting did not do me too dirty today, but fingers crossed that it does not oxidize. Um, I'm already not really loving this sponge. It's definitely leaving like imprints, as you can see like right there where I'm tapping it in. And I think that's because this does have a flat edge to it, which would be really, really helpful for doing like under eye concealer, I feel like, but I feel like the flat edge is definitely leaving some weird imprints in the foundation, so I'm not sure if I really like this. All right, so that was about three pumps, which is what I normally do for my foundation, but we are nowhere even close to being full coverage yet. I literally only covered one cheek and like this area on this side of the face, so I am gonna do a little bit more. So that is one coat of foundation, fully applied all over the face, and it's giving me like very medium coverage. I am definitely gonna add a little bit more in areas that are still a little bit see-through, but honestly, first impressions, I really like how this foundation looks. All right, so that is the foundation all applied, and obviously we have to wear this and see how it wears throughout the day, but initial reactions is that I really, really like it. It looks really, really good on my skin tone. My skin feels nice and smooth, and it feels very, very weightless too. Like, I don't feel like I'm wearing a lot of foundation, despite the fact that I definitely just had to do like 10 or 15 pumps of this to get full coverage, which definitely is a con. So if you're okay with using a lot of foundation to cover yourself, but still feeling light, that's good. But just know that you're only getting 1.08 fluid ounces. Um, for the price, pretty good, but still, you're gonna use a lot of foundation, so you could go through this very, very quickly. So the next step is gonna be to conceal and contour my face, but I'm actually gonna skip out on concealing for just one second and actually move to contour because today we're gonna be using a cream contour from Fenty Beauty, and this is the Match Stick and the shade Suede. Each one of these little cream sticks comes for $25 each, and you get 0.25 ounces of product, so definitely not a whole lot, but let's go ahead and cream contour our face today. And then I'm just gonna blend this out using the sponge. All right, so as you can see, I just tried to blend that in, but instead of really like blending in, it kind of disappeared. And I think that's because foundation is getting layered over top of it. Um, this sponge is obviously soaking up a lot of product, which is definitely why it took 10 to 15 squirts of foundation to get full coverage. But um, I think I'm gonna switch over to my regular beauty blender to finish blending this out. Let's try this again. Okay, I'm not loving this. It's definitely blending out a lot easier using my regular beauty blender as opposed to the Fenty Beauty sponge, but honestly, I'm still really not loving this. I'm having to pounce really, really hard to even get the product to move. I feel like it kind of already dried down completely, which for the foundation I like because I have not set my face yet with powder, but it looks really, really good. All right, I'm back. My camera decided, of course, literally what else could go wrong today at this point, but I did just go ahead and apply my concealer, which was Tarte Shape Tape. I was gonna pick up one of the match sticks, similar to the cream contour in a concealer, but I'll just be straight up. I tried it in Sephora today and I absolutely hated the formula. I just felt as though it wasn't soft enough to be able to really use for under eye concealer. I just thought it was gonna take off the foundation and honestly, at this point, I'm really, really glad I went with that decision because obviously I did not really like this formula and using Shape Tape with this Fenty foundation looks so good. Like, my skin looks absolutely phenomenal right now. I have not even set with any powder. I'm not creasing. Um, it dried down to like a semi matte finish. It's not completely matte, but it's also a slightest bit dewy. This looks really good. All right, so next I'm gonna go in and I'm going to set my face. So to do that, I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Invisa Matte Universal Blotting Powder. And there's only one shade in this and it is very, very light. So I am praying that Flash Like Mary does not come. I mean, she clearly was trying it with a shade 100 of the foundation, so fingers crossed that this does not give us the worst Flash Like ever. I'm just gonna grab my Morphe M335 brush and tap into this, and I'm going to use this to set underneath my eyes. Just make sure that I don't get any creases. I'm next just gonna grab my Morphe M141 and dip into the pan to set the rest of my face, and whoa. As you can see, when you dip the brush in, it definitely comes off as white powder. This is getting very, very scary, but when you blend it in, I'm assuming it turns 
pretty transparent yeah so hopefully we won't get any flash luck but like i said i will definitely take a photo and show you guys in a few short seconds all right, so as you can see from the photos I just inserted, this powder is definitely flashback proof, thank God, where I lightly dusted the powder just to set my face and mattify it. My skin tone looked exactly the same, so that is an A+. And where I did really, really pack it on, being the center of the forehead, chin, and under the eyes, like I normally do, it did flashback the slightest bit and lighten up my skin tone, but that's exactly what I wanted it to do. So this powder is a major win and definitely will be going in my bag when I go places as well for light touch-ups. Okay, so now that my face is all set in place, ooh, we love a good poet. <laughs> I'm going to quickly go ahead and do my brows off camera. Fenty did not launch any brow products with this original line, so I'm just going to use my normal Benefit brow products and I'll be right back to start off the eyes. All right, so I just went ahead and I did my brows off camera quickly to save time. And then I just threw on this orangey brown halo eye. With the Fenty launch, she actually did not launch any eyeshadow palettes or single shadows, just highlighters. So I wanted to throw this on as a base. And then I'm gonna grab the match stick, not the concealer, in the shade Starstruck, which is like this pinky glittery shade. It honestly swatches really, really beautifully, and I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be used as a cream highlighter for the cheeks, but it is definitely a little bit darker for my skin tone. As you can see when I rotate my hand, it definitely gives that gray cast that nobody wants for a highlighter, so this would definitely look a lot better on darker skins, but I'm gonna use it to highlight the center of my eyelids today. That looks really good, oh my gosh. I'm then just gonna grab a Morphe M224 brush and dip into the top of that cream highlighter and just use this to blend out the edges lightly. Oh, this is really pretty. I'm also gonna grab my pinky finger and try applying it this way too to see how that works. This is a matchstick as well, so it's also $25, like I said, for the first one, the cream contouring. And fun side note, these are magnetic and stick together, which I think is so cool and a really good storage option as well. So major points to them for that. So those are the eyes all complete. I am absolutely loving how this is turning out so far. And now we're onto the step that we've all been waiting for, and that is the highlighter. And I am so, so, so excited for this. So Fenty Beauty actually launched a few different highlighters retailing at $34 each and you get 0.12 ounces of product. And I actually picked up two of them. This duo comes with two shades being Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. Definitely plus for the names. Please excuse my crusty ass bandaid, but here's the shade Lightning Dust Swatch. We're gonna do it right here. That's not even showing up on camera. And it's actually really not that pigmented in real life too. Okay, and then here's the shade Fire Crystal also swatched. All right, so Fire Crystal is definitely a lot more pigmented and a little bit more glittery than Lightning Dust is. I'm actually pretty disappointed in Lightning Dust. It really does not show up that well on camera or in real life. So if you want a more subtle highlighter, this may be for you. But when you're like me and you like a blinding glow, I think we might be going for Fire Crystal. But even this is really not that blinding either. The second highlighter, however, is the one we've been waiting for, and this is what I am so, so excited to use today, and that is the single highlighter in the shade Trophy Wipe. It is this, like, metallic-ass gold shade that is, I guess, more even glittery than highlighty. Oh, you're kidding. Wow. So Rihanna was actually wearing this exact highlighter last night at the event, which looked so beyond stunning. And after doing a little bit of research, what I'm gathering is that this highlighter is actually more of like a glittery base rather than an actual like shimmer base. So when you put it on, it's supposed to actually disperse more like real glitter and look like your face is like literally glittery rather than like glowing. So definitely not for the everyday person, but y'all know me, I love to be extra AF and I am so excited to try this. So let's give her a little bit of a swatch with a clean finger. Oh, you're kidding. Let's go ahead and move the Cartier bracelet down and do a little, oh, wow. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but in real life, you can see the individual glitter particles like shining and that is so stunning. Oh my God. I am so pumped for this. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M501 brush and dip into Trophy Wife and see how this looks. All right, so the highlighter is definitely there with only one swipe and I'm already glowing. But as you can see, I definitely had a lot of my brush and was able to blend it out too, which is great because some people obviously are not gonna want this full on glittery glam highlight, but y'all know me, I need to be extra AF. So I'm gonna dip back in once again and layer more on top for that gold glitter effect. Oh my God, Ooh, wow. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to my normal areas as well, being the brow bones. Okay, so I was super, super excited for this highlighter, but after putting it on, let's be real, this is definitely not for my skin tone. It is way too dark and way too golden as well, which is great because that means that this will fit all my dark sisters out there so, so beautifully. So if you guys get this and try it on, definitely send me all the tweets and pics so I can be jealous of your envious golden glow, but this highlighter, definitely not for me. I'm actually gonna go back into this duo and into Fire Crystal and try that instead. 
I'm just going with my Morphe M405 brush and I'm gonna quickly go over just the highlight area to try to blend it out a little bit and make it look not as intense because this golden glow is a little bit too golden. Okay, so instead I'm gonna grab a clean M501 brush and dip into Fire Crystal from that duo that I just showed you guys and try this one instead. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Side note too, if you have nails, these are really, really hard to open. Oh my God, I'm like scared that I'm gonna snap one. I'm gonna save my final thoughts to the end, but the last step is obviously going to be the Lipity Doodahs. And for today, I'm gonna to be using the Fenty Glow Lip Gloss, which I've heard is literally so, so good. So I'm very, very excited to put this on. So with this gloss, you get 0.3 ounces of product and it's $18, so definitely not a bad deal. So the shade of this lip gloss is definitely like a muted mauve shade, which I absolutely love. And there are little flecks of gold glitter in here too for that high shine look. So I'm super excited to put this on. Oh, wow. Okay, so I don't know if this is reading on camera, but in person, this lip is literally so shiny that it almost looks like a metallic lipstick, but I really don't hate it because I'm kind of living for the gloss. So I actually didn't layer this gloss over anything because that's how it was marketed in the Fenty campaign. I'm pretty sure all the models have this over their natural lip colors. And for me, the formula is really, really nice, but I'm really not loving the color that it's giving my lips. It doesn't look bad, but I just feel like it doesn't really match with this eye look. So maybe if I layered it over top of something, it would look better. But as for the actual lip gloss formula, and feel, I like it. So I'm gonna finish off by spritzing my face using my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, just to lock everything in place. And that is the full face of Fenty products. Okay, so let's go back and recap for those of you sisters who are interested in buying. The primer and foundation, 150%. I love this. My skin looks so good. I barely had a powder on my face and it dried down so, so nicely. The shade match is really, really good. I look golden and bronzy and like my texture is not showing. My pores look good. I love this and this honestly may be replacing my Makeup Forever and Too Faced Duo, but you will have to stay tuned and find out. I'm gonna keep wearing this look throughout the day, so I will definitely tweet and snap and keep you guys posted as to how it wears, but as of right now, I love this. Next product we use was the Universal Invisa Matte Blotting Powder, which I actually use for a setting powder. I, once again, love this as well. It was super, super lightweight, and even though it is a light color, which definitely had me a little spooked at first, it does not give any flashback, which is so great, and definitely did a really good job of mattifying my skin and keeping everything in place. That was rude. Like I said, the foundation did dry down pretty matte, so I really did not need a lot of this, but this will definitely be going in my touch-up bag for when I go to events, because I love this. The next product we use, The next product we tested out was one of the matchsticks, and this is one of the contour shades. I picked out Suede, and this for me was more of a fail. So the next product we used was the matchstick, and I picked out the shade Suede to do my cream contouring, and definitely I was a little bit biased considering I don't really like cream products to begin with, but this was not for me at all. I really do not like the formula of these. It's not bad by any means, but I just felt as though I had to work really, really hard to really blend this out, and even after blending it, I still felt like it was a little bit patchy, so I definitely would not be recommending this matchstick or the sponge as well. I forgot to mention this, but this is just overall a big no. It really did not do that good of a job of blending out. I felt like I had to work really, really hard at it and also this soaks up way too much product too as you guys saw I had to use like 15 pumps of foundation to get a full face which is never ever the move and is gonna run you out of that foundation so fast $34 is definitely a lot of money to be spending on a foundation so I would avoid getting this because you're gonna waste it to spend the extra four dollars and get the regular beauty blender and save yourself a whole lot of time and product so even though this matchstick was a major fail for me, this matchstick in the shade Stardust was a major, major win. It is once again a cream stick and it is supposed to be a highlighter, but instead of using it on my face, I did use it as my eyeshadow to be my center highlight of my halo eye. And oh my God, like I said before, I love how this looks. It is super, super pigmented as you can see. And similar to the contour, it was kind of hard to blend out, but for an eyeshadow look, that's really, really great because as you can see, it's really not transferring. It's staying exactly where I put it. And just the edges were able to be blended out for that perfect glowy halo eye, I definitely would recommend this one. So the next product we tried out were the Fenty Beauty Highlighters, and these for me were a major fail once again. I'm so sad because I was really, really looking forward to these, especially the shade Trophy Wife. All the models wearing it last night looked so stunning with their gold glittery highlights, but it was definitely way too dark for me. Honestly, really not mad at it at all. It's about damn time a brand comes out with a lot of products meant for darker skin tones, so definitely if you are lighter skin tone, I would not recommend, but if you're a dark beauty, these highlighters would be so good for you. 
As for the other highlighter duo, this one was a major fail for me as well. As you saw, the shade Lightning Dust really did not have any pigment at all. And then the shade of Fire Crystal was super, super beautiful. But as you can see, it's on my face and it is looking a little bit grayish white. Um, I was expecting this to be a little bit more champagne-y, but it's definitely looking a little bit too pale. So for me, I would have loved to have a highlighter in the middle of these two because this is too dark and this is way too light slash gray. So hopefully Rihanna will come up with a lot more things. But for me, the highlighters were a fail. And last but certainly not least, we tried out the Fenty Beauty Gloss and I love this. Like I was saying, I wish I layered this over top of a liquid lipstick or a regular lipstick because I'm not loving the color that it gave me to match with this look. Coloring aside though, because that's my fault, the formula itself I absolutely love. It feels very, very comfortable and lightweight on my lips and not sticky, which is literally the best thing in the entire world. And yeah, I really, really like this and this will definitely be going in my bag as well. Alright sisters, so that is the full Fenty Beauty products all tried out and reviewed. Definitely leave me a comment down below and tell me which product you like best and what you're dying to try as well. Overall, after trying all these products, I think there were only two things in total that I really didn't love and they were still not bad at all, just definitely not for my makeup preference. So, love that. Also love the fact that there are 40 foundation shades. Oh my god, I can't stress enough. Once again, thank god the beauty brands are finally starting to target towards darker skin tones and people of color. It is about damn time and this makeup line launched by Rihanna is such a major step forward for diversity. So major hats off to that and claps for sister riri if you haven't already make sure to click that big red subscribe button down below and join the sisterhood also click that little bell button so you can be notified every time i upload a new video if you'd like to follow me on my makeup journey you can follow me on instagram and twitter they're both just james charles and my snapchat for more behind the scenes type stuff is james charles the next ass after charles this week's shout out goes to sister leo thank you so much girl for always following and supporting if you would like to be next video sister shout out make sure to always reach my video link so they go live on twitter side note as well i have two very very exciting things happening next week make sure to look out for monday's upload something happening on Tuesday and Wednesday's upload. It's going to be a good ass time and I cannot wait for you guys to see what I've been working on. All right, sisters, thank you so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.